to your health, where we talk to local health leaders to help you feel better, live better, and be better. Hey everybody and welcome to To Your Health. Well, if you have trouble sleeping, then today is for you to help us get some Z's is Angela from Natural Healthy Concepts. Hi Angela. Hello. So many people really struggle getting that sleep. Why are so many of us failing to sleep? Well, unfortunately, it comes with a lot of different answers. So stress is very typical. We can have hormonal fluctuations that will influence our sleep. Some EMF pollution can keep us up at night. Um, even our overall toxicity. Seems like there's a lot of factors, but in the end, what happens outside of being grouchy to your co grouchy to your coworkers? What happens when we don't get enough sleep for our body? Okay, well, yeah, you're right. Grouchiness, anxiety, a little bit of depression, maybe. Um, but you know, the brain should be resting and cleaning itself out when we're sleeping. It's storing memories, so when we're not getting our eight to 10 hours of sleep, that those things aren't happening. Yeah, I like that analogy. What, um, what should we be taking if we don't wanna do these over the counter, you know, the, the sleep aids and things like that. Right. We wanna do something a little bit more natural. What are your top, what are your go-tos for yeah. people? Oh, thankfully I have a lot of go-tos. So a lot of people do start with melatonin. It can be hit or miss for people. Uh, we do make less melatonin as we age, so it is okay to supplement that. Usually less is more. Don't start out with the five milligrams. Start out with the microdose. Um, if it makes you a little hungover in the morning, maybe you take a little bit earlier in the evening. But I love my herbals. I love valerian. I love passion flower. You can take them as a liquid, as a capsule. You can even get them as a tea. And they're just very calming. And they're fun names. And they have fun I mean, names. Why wouldn't we? So yeah. I'm curious, is this something that as we take our herbals, and our melatonin that we may have to increase our dosage over time or is it more of a straight line consistent? Yeah, that's also gonna be a hard one. So our bodies aren't gonna get used to it. So if you need it, you can take it. But no matter what you're taking, if it stops working, then the reason you're having trouble sleeping has changed. So think about that. And always keep, I, I have a, a good amount of different sleep support that I use at night. Sometimes I know what I need and I know I don't need this one, so I will change. That's interesting that if it's been working and then it doesn't, it's probably a different trigger, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah. yes. Well, Angela, thanks so much for helping us get our bodies rested. We appreciate that, and we want to thank you for watching To Your Health. Proceeding was a paid advertisement.